All right, guys, these smart keys from Quickset have been a thorn in our side since almost the day they were released. In fact, I only know one guy who can reliably open these things up. And I can't say his name. I don't want to out him, but it, his name begins with lockpicking and ends with lawyer. And Harry's able to pick these things fairly consistently only because he spent hundreds of hours picking these things, getting the feel for those sliders. doesn't look like that complex of a lock, but trust me, these are very difficult. So if we need to get through one of these, say a locksmith needs to get in, the, the way that they're traditionally done is you drill them. You drill the, bolt, the deadbolt or you cut the shackle, and either way you ruin the hardware and you've got to put a new lock on it. Until today. Now, this is a brand new toy. This is one of those James Bond things. This is called the Loctec Quick Set Smart Key Digital Decoder. This one's not actually mine. It's on loan. Um, Wayne out at Tri-County Locksmith Services in Glenwood Springs, Colorado, was kind enough to loan this to me um, while mine works its way through the back order. Should be here within a week, but hey, let's break Wayne's stuff instead. So give me a minute to get set up, and I will show you how this new toy decodes these in 30 seconds or less. All right, guys, right out of the box, you've got everything you need to decode one of these smart key systems. But first, let's go over and I'll show you a couple of features about it. Minimal controls on this. We have an on-off switch, and there's a little button. While it's on, if you push that button, it takes a digital photograph. You really don't need to do that, but if you do, you can download it from here by connecting it to your PC. This is actually the charging port. Um, I got an LED, and I'll show you in just a moment, to adjust the amount of uh, LED, the light intensity on the inside of the lock. And then if you roll it over, there's a zoom in and zoom out switch. I've not had to use these, but you know they're available if you want them. On the front, we have a hard protective cover that is held on with a super magnet, and it's also indexed to align it perfectly to protect that tip. Before I show you the tip, on this cord, you notice a bunch of stuff hanging here. Uh, these are spacers, so uh, we're looking at five possible cuts inside of the smart key uh, lock. So when we slide this all the way in, we're looking at the last position, which is number five. In order to perfectly index that mirror on position number four or three or whatever, we're going to use these little spacers. And they're, they're all numbered, so in order to get position number four, we slide it in there, and again, you can only put it on one way. It won't go on any other way. Lines up perfectly, adds just the right amount of space to align that with window four, and so forth. You remove this one for window three all the way out to uh, position number one. Um, on the card, once we look through the camera, and again, I'll show you that in a minute with my uh, iPad, you have this decoder card. So when you see one of these, these are the six possible positions of that slider inside of there. And whichever one lines up tells you what the cut is for that specific position. So very cool. Let me go ahead and show you how to connect this up to your Wi-Fi. It takes literally seconds, and then we'll decode one of these locks. All right, guys, let me show you how easy this thing is to put into operation. Again, minimal control, so the only thing you got to do is turn your power button on. What you're looking for is a blue light to pop on, start blinking, tell you it's looking for a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, go to your laptop, or I'm sorry, your uh, iPhone or to your Android device, and um, I'm on network settings, and on the bottom there, you can see it pops up. Mine is max C and then some letters and numbers. Your letters and numbers are going to be different because all these are coded individually. So just click onto that, let it connect, and then go to your program to view through the camera. It's called a program called Max C. You can go to the um, to the Apple Store, grab this. It's a free. Uh, screening program, or you can grab it off of the Play Store for Android devices. Along the top of that, you'll notice that we have a lot of choices. So I don't need to take pictures because I can actually press the button on the center. I can take a picture of what I see, or I can take a video of the entire process. So that little button on the side, it's kind of redundant. We really don't need it, but it is an option. All right, so what we're seeing through the camera now are, is what's inside of the cover. When I pull the cover off, you'll notice that the little LED is lit up. It's ready to go. So let's see if we can't decode one of these. I have no spacer on here, so it's going to go to the maximum depth, and it's going to align perfectly with position number five. So just gently slide it in. And when you take a look at the screen and you compare the screen to the decoder card, it's almost an exact, it looks exactly like that. So that's a cut number five. I think that's pretty obvious. All right, so we're going to slide that out. 
gently. And now we're going to look for position number four. Pick up the spacer with a four on it. And again, these only go on one way. So slide it on there. And you notice it adds a little bit of a space. And that should align it perfectly with position number four. Slide it in there. And again, you take a look at what you see through the camera and compare it with your decoder card. And that's a cut number two. And again, you just keep repeating that. We're going to check position number three now. The spacer is just a little bit thicker. And slide it in there and just keep repeating this all through five. And that all, let's see, that's a cut compared to the cards, a cut three. Super easy, pretty high resolution camera. Makes it really hard to, to screw this up. Um, when you get done, you should have a decoding. And on this one, I've done it before. It is a five, two, three, four, six for the deadbolt. So let's take a look at a, how to decode a padlock. All right, something I've noticed about the padlock, and the reason I decided to show you pretty much the same thing again, notice these spacers kind of hang out there just a little bit. The problem with trying to decode a padlock is that they, they kind of get in the way a little bit. They don't allow it to align perfectly. So I found, because these little studs on the, uh, little rivets on the outside of here, you can actually decode this without taking the time to use a spacer. Just slide it all the way in. You know it's going to be aligned perfectly with position number five. And what I've done, I'm, I'm not going to going, be going back and forth. I'm just going to align it with position five all the way in, and then I'm going to slowly back it out. So there's position five, and just slowly back it out until I see the next window. Okay, there it is. That's a cut number three. Keep going. Line it with the next one, and there's a cut one. Slowly. Slowly, Bill, slowly. There's another cut one. And then should be the last one here coming up. And there we go. And that is a cut number four. So it's, it's very easy. If you just take your time at the end, if you have five numbers, you've observed five different cuts, you know you got them all. You don't have to take the time with these little spacers. They don't work so well on padlocks because the rubber coating in these rivets uh, kind of block these spacers just a little bit. Anyway, a great product. Let me turn this guy off. I really appreciate Wayne loaning this to me. I got an email that mine, it's been on back order for weeks and weeks and weeks. It is now being shipped. So this will be the giveaway, not Wayne's, but the brand new one that's going to still be in the wrapper when it arrives. That will be the giveaway for this week. So if you'd like to have it, I'll tell you how to register for free. By the way, all you do, you take the codes, take them down to the to your locksmith, or if you have a code cutting machine, and I, I don't know which is which, I can't remember, but have it code cut. Yeah, got lucky on the first time. Have it code cut to the lock, and it works perfectly. They work great. Anyway, guys, for those of you who keep sending these to me, keep sending them, because now I can cut keys for them, and they'll be useful to me. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. All you need to do is navigate to locklab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the weekend review giveaway, Purple Band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom, put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click Submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys. 